Hey guys, it's Rico Go, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can create your own website in just less than one hour. I'm going to create ricardogorski.com, which is a German landing page for my marketing consulting business in Germany. So you know exactly how I create my website and based on that, you will create your own website. The total price of this website for a 12 month web hosting plan was 53 euros and 75 cents. The SSL certificate as well as the domain registration were both free included in this plan that I'm going to show you later on. This is going to be a temporary design on my website and the more professional one will follow very soon. But for the main purpose, to show you how a website can look like in just 60 minutes, it is totally fine and this is the main purpose of this website. So let's go. There are four big steps for you to create your own website and that is one, the domain registration, two, the web hosting, three, the website setup and four, the content publishment. And I'm going to explain every step in this video in detail as well as three optional steps and that is one, the designing part, two, SEO optimization and three, marketing in general for your website. Let's start with the first step and that is the domain registration. For that you just need to choose a domain registrar of your own choice. For me in the past it was Hexonet, GoDaddy as well as Hostinger. In the domain registrar of your own choice you just type in the preferred domain that you want into their search bar and then you will get an immediate response of whether or not your preferred domain name is accessible or not. In my individual case, I already bought ricardogorski.com. That's why I'm going to leave the domain at the registrar Hexonet, but I'm going to import the domain for the web hosting in hostinger.com. In general, I can recommend you buying your domain name better earlier than too late. It's just $10 a year for a new domain. And if you have a brand already, just buy your domain name because there are other people who try to catch your domain name and then sell it to you after they already bought it for a much, much higher price than $10 a year. So for example, just type in your first and your last name into hostinger.com and check if it's available. And if it's available and you're going to start a personal brand somewhere in the future, even if it's five years from now, better buy your domain today than buying it from another person for thousands of dollars afterwards if you already started your brand. In order to activate and use your domain, you have to verify your personal data. It's not that complicated. You just type in your email and then you have to click on a link in the email like the usual. And for an additional fee, you can block your personal data with the who is block, which only makes sense if you want to be anonymous on the web. For me, example, it doesn't make sense because my domain name is ricardogorski.com and it doesn't make sense to hide my personal data because it's the most obvious domain name you can have to show who you are. There is also the option of buying a domain from someone else who already bought the domain and for that you need the authentication or the transfer code from this person and then you can uh, transfer the domain into your own account at Hostinger or your own domain registrar. And the most important thing is that you should always activate auto renewal in your domain registrar if you want to keep the domain because there are a lot of cases as well where people lost their domains because they didn't activate this option of auto renewal so they didn't have enough balance in their account and the registrar didn't renew the domain for another 12 months and they lost their domains. There are even businesses built up on that case where people just buy and scrape domains that other people lost because they didn't renew the domain. Now we are coming to the second step and that is the web hosting because we have our domain registered and now we need to build something on that domain and publish it to the internet. My current go-to host is hostinger.com. They are the solution that I told you earlier about. They offer a free domain as well as a free SSL certificate for 12 months. I personally can recommend their premium plan. I also got this plan. Uh, it's just $2.89 a month or roughly $50 a year. You ha can have unlimited websites as well as unlimited bandwidth, which is just awesome for that price. I also have very good experience with Cloudways, WPX and Bluehost as a web host. They are also very good, but now I just show you how you can build your website with Hostinger because it's the best and fastest solution. And also the differences between those hosts aren't that big. For big data websites, yes, but not for small landing pages. That's why I say just choose a host and don't waste too much time on finding the best one because for small sites, they are all the same. The most important thing is that you start. The account registration for Hostinger.com is very easy. Just go to hostinger.com or use the affiliate link in my description and then you can create your own account. From Hostinger's control panel, you have many options to work with your website. For example, you can install WordPress, which is literally one click. 
and we need WordPress for content management system to build a normal and classical website on it where we can also publish content on it. When WordPress is installed, Hostinger is going to create a different domain where you can already work on in the backend of WordPress. But what we are going to do in the meantime is going to change the name servers of the domain. Because when you have a domain, you already have some default name servers. And we want to change those name servers to the name servers of Hostinger. And those are ns1.dnsparking.com as well as ns2.dnsparking.com. And when we do that, we are able to use Hostinger as our web hosting and we can create content with Hostinger on our domain that we registered in the first place. A very nice thing about Hostinger is that you can have multiple domains on one server and that is why you can see two projects of mine in my Hostinger account. The third step is the website setup. We have our domain, we have our host and now we are able to create a website on both of them. The first thing we want to do is to activate the maintenance mode in Hostinger as well as no indexing the website with WordPress. That allows us to work with the website without search engines already crawling our website and looking at our content because we want to finish the website and then we want to publish it on the internet and in the search engines. The second thing we want to do is to activate and install the SSL certificate. This allows our website to have a secure connection connection and if other people are on this website they see this HTTPS which basically means a secure connection. Now we are coming to the basic website settings for your own website and that is the general settings. Here you can change the tagline. For me it's going to be Ricardo Gorski's website. Also you can change the date and time format if needed. For me because I live in Cyprus it's going to be a different one than in the US. Then you can change the so-called reading settings. Here I can recommend you to display a static page as your home page. And B I also recommend you to discourage search engine. The discussions settings are basically for the comments function. And here the first three checkboxes are the most important and there you can just allow or disallow people to comment on your posts on your website and in my case I disallowed it because I just want a landing page for my business I just want people to read uh, what I have to say on my website. The last important settings are the permalinks and there I recommend you to set permalink structure to post name because in this format you just have your domain name and then a slash and then the name of the post and not uh, some random numbers of the date or something which isn't that nice for SEO purposes and it doesn't look nice as well. The fourth and last step is the actual content publishment on your own website and therefore you need to know that we have two options in WordPress and that is pages and sites. And sites are basically for your legal sites as well as your front page. And pages are for your blog, for example, for multiple, multiple pages to scale. And for both of them, we have two options to edit the content on the website. And that is A, with the WordPress editor itself, but here we have restriction regarding design, but it's very easy. And B, we have editing with an Elementor Live Editor, which is by default installed from Hostinger. And we are going to use this one because we just have a little bit more options regarding the design and customization part. In WordPress, we click on pages, then we click on the front page and we're going to click on edit with Elementor. Here we can see a template by Elementor, which we can either use or just delete it, what I will be doing in my case, because I want a complete different design. Now we are going to create a new section and that is going to be a full version. And here we can now set the basic settings for our website. And now we are going to click on those three bars right here. And we want to change the default color. You can choose your primary, secondary, text and accent color, which is going to be in my case a little bit uh, grayish and orange because those are my colors for my brand. We click on apply and then we go back and we can change the default fonts. The primary one, the secondary one, the body text and the accent one. The font on my website is going to be Oswald. That's why I always uh, chose this font. Also click on apply and now we go back again. Now we have our first section created and we're going to click on those six little dots right here. We're going to click on style and then we change the background color to black because I like black. And then we need a new uh, column. So I'm going to drag and drop the image 
and in the second column I'm going to drag and drop the text editor. Right here I'm going to upload my picture that I already uploaded before and right here I'm going to write a little bit about myself and I'm a marketing consultant, I'm a brand builder and I'm an entrepreneur. And by clicking on this right here I have the option to add some new widgets again. I'm going to add a heading on top of this and I'm going to write here my name Ricardo Gorski. I'm going to change here the HTML tag to an H1 because it's the most important uh, text. Right here I'm going to change the style of the text color to white and I'm going to have this as my first section. What I want now is a new section with four columns. In all of those columns I want buttons. So we're going to create button one, button two, button three as well as button four of course. I'm also going to change the background color of this section. In this case, it's going to be blue. And I want the buttons to the color yellow. We're going to change the text color to black from those buttons in the style area right here. Black for this button as well. Black black. As you can see, it is very, very easy to customize your buttons. And then we are going to change the content of the buttons. In the first place I want a, about me in German. And the second one I want references of my work, which is going to be projects. And the third one I want my social media accounts. And in the fourth one I want a section about people so they can contact me. And now we are going to create the first section and that is the about me section. I want in the first column the heading. In the second column I want a text editor. And then I'm going to duplicate this section, of course, you may already guessed it, four times. In the first heading I'm going to write the about me. In the second I'm going to write projects, third social media and then contact. I'm going to change the color of those fonts to black, again text color black, again text color black. Now I'm going to change the text color of the text as well to black for all of them. And now I'm going to add the text part right here in the about me section that I've already pre-written. In projects I'm going to add a, another text about all my projects with the bulleted list. So it's the invest first GmbH as well as my other projects. In the social media part, we are going to add a different widget and that is going to be the social icons. And on the sidebar, we have the option to add some items and that's what we are going to do. So we are going to use Instagram, of course, which is not in default. And then we are going to remove Twitter because I don't use Twitter and we are going to add a LinkedIn. We're going to insert it and then we have the option to add our social media accounts with the link which I'm going to do right now. Now I've added all my social media links and I'm going to add a contact form right here for people to be able to send me a message on my website. And therefore we are going to use a WordPress plugin called contact form which is also going to be installed when you install WordPress. And therefore we need to add the widget short code. And in the new tab, we are going to go to WP forms. Right here, we're going to copy the short code for the contact form. We're going to add this in our short code and within seconds, as you can see, the contact form was added. And now you may ask yourself, why did I add buttons right here? And the answer for that is that I want those buttons to redirect me with the jump link to the right section right here. So I click on social media and I get redirected immediately to social media. And how we're going to do that is very simple. We click on contact and on contact we're going to add a CSS ID and we're going to name it contact of course and when we go to contact button we're going to go to content and we create a link right here as you can see with the hashtag and the hashtag contact is going to redirect us to contact. Did you see it? 
So I click on contact button right now here and I get redirected with a jump link to the bottom of the page to the right section. And that is awesome in my opinion. That's what I'm going to do for every button right now. So I go to social media, I go to advanced, I create a CSS ID called social minus media. Then I go to the social media button. I add a link that is going to be hashtag social media. And now we are able to click on the social media button and we get also redirected to the social media section. So this is just a little fun and there are so many more ways you can customize your own website. This is just a little brief introduction to WordPress. I'm going to do some little design changes now and then I'm going to show you the end result. So now I'm done. After 10 minutes of doing some little design changes, this is the end result as you can see. Um, I added a new section right here for the mobile version because now we're coming to something very important and that is that we have the option right here in the bottom as the in the responsive mode to change uh, the tablet as well as the mobile version of this website. And in the mobile version you can see that I removed uh, this uh, buttons area because it doesn't really make sense because you just scroll on your phone and I added instead the my latest video section just in the phone version. And yeah, as you can see, I pretty much made it very mobile ready. So it also looks good on phone as well as the tablet version right here. In the tablet version, I still included the buttons because it looks better than on phone where we just would have like four buttons right in front of each other. Also here, I excluded the my latest video section. That's it for the little designing part on my website. Always remember to make it mobile responsive. We finally finished the front page and now you need to know that you can, if you want to edit multiple sub pages, you can have new pages about different content with the same procedure. It's just the same, but for other little sub pages uh, that you want to create on your website, if you want to add a blog, for example, you just do the same, the pages area. That's it for your own website. I'm going to talk a little bit about the optional things now that I told you about earlier. And that is the designing part. As you can see, I did a little bit of designing here and there, but it's definitely not professional. For a professional designing, I need a brand identity, a logo, uh, branded graphics and infographics and more and more. But for a basic, basic, basic website that you probably want, if you want to watch this video, it's okay. And then we're coming to the SEO optimization part. Here I can recommend you doing a keyword and competitor analysis uh, for the content you're going to publish. Also added the meta titles, description, as well as some other SEO optimizations part on the body content itself. For example, you need to look at the heading structure and that you just have one H1 for example, but all of this is going to be too technical. So we can't discuss this in this video, but in future videos, or you can just research it yourself as well as performance plugins. So WordPress also gives you the option to install plugins like we did with the WP Forms plugin for example and then you have more options to get a better experience on your website. And for the marketing part I can recommend you doing content marketing so just scale your content, do PR, other people link your website on their website it's a very strong signal for the search engines to know that your website is very good as well as outreach marketing just reach out to other people and ask them for corporations sponsored articles or guest posting with a link to your website and this was the basic basic understanding of creating your own website in the shortest period of time as possible with an own domain, with WordPress, as well as a web hosting. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. I will be happy to answer them. And I will be also very happy if you leave me a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video.